awesome vehicle by McFarland Toys. However, it can even be more awesome. Let me show you what I did with my bad cycle. So I wanted to have something else different. I really, really like this motorcycle the design, the color, the whole construction of it is just really well done. However, I felt that it needed just a little bit more POW, and that's the lights. So I bought some Lego kit lights to be able to do this. They're the smallest thing that I could find. These are the Bricks Max, and it's a kit designed for another motorcycle, a Lego motorcycle, and it comes with everything you need, the headlights, the taillights, exactly what you need to put in there. Now the lights that you see changing color in the engine compartment are the RGB strips. And I actually only used one. I cut it in half because they're too big. And by cutting it in half, I was able to fit them correctly in the spot that needed to be but with the engine compartment. The lights that are the headlights and the ones on the fender and the wheel are a smaller diode or LED diode powered by that battery pack that you see on the left side. Those are incredibly small. The wires are very, very tiny. And you just have to be careful and take your time, lots of patience to be able to manipulate that thin wire through the different compartments. You're only gonna be able to drill two holes in the rear fender and the front fender and then hide the wires along the design of the uh, sculpting that's on the motorcycle. These are the diodes, they're incredibly small, so you just have to be careful not to exude any pressure on them or to pull them too hard, otherwise you're gonna disconnect them and you're gonna break the soldering. Now, the lights are actually bright, but you can dim them down, and you also can uh, make them uh, change color and pulsate and strobe, etc. And this is the size of the remote, it's about the size of our credit card. You see the transmitter on the side, it's actually the receiver. As far as having the lights out, this is how bright it is. Um, running off three double A's, it lasts you uh, maybe two days or so. And this is the actual receiver showing you where the connections go to the RGB uh, light and then the single diode light. Power source can be the battery pack or it can be a USB connection so you can have continuous power. But of course you'll have to have either a portable uh, USB battery or you can hook it up to a USB outlet but it's going to be fixed in that position. And if you're just having it for display then those, there's no problem. So as you can see in the next image it's quite a difference from the original product although it's, it really looks remarkable. However. Just adding those small details in the lights made all the difference, at least for me. I did add some paint uh, wash to it because it's a little bit darker uh, in the comics and it actually matches what I, what I wanted as far as the color tone on the bones. But as far as the lights themselves, it really makes for a conversation piece and it definitely was a good project to work on. I'll repeat the list again at the very end, showing you the kit once again. Uh, it's, this is not a how-to video. It's, it would be a much longer than this. I just wanted to share what I finally came up with. I actually had this in planning since the motorcycle was announced and once it was released, it took me maybe, maybe two hours to put everything together, even with the paint wash. So it wasn't overly complicated, but definitely needed some patience running those tiny wires. Once again, this is the kit, the Bricks, Mark, Bricks Max, I'm sorry, and it comes with everything you need for the light. You won't have to buy separate pieces. Uh, everything's there. You'll probably have a few pieces left over, depending on how much you want to go uh, into detail with the light. So some of you are wondering, how much is the kit? Where can I get the kit? Well, you can get it from Amazon, you can get it from eBay, or you can go directly to the source. I got mine from Amazon. I got it the next day, 3161 is what I paid. It was very simple to work with. However, make sure that you plug everything in before you start working with your cycle. Make sure everything lights up, that all the boards are working, that the remote is working, so that you are not disappointed once you've installed everything and then you find out something went wrong. Be careful with any pinched wires. Uh, 
do not tug on anything, do not force anything. These things are incredibly delicate and small. But once you've got it done, you're going to enjoy it and share it. I hope you like this video. It's not a how-to video, but more or less what you can do with your cycle. Have a good one.